Right, it has finally finished here. We said five o'clock, it's 20 past now. Um, and Dorkin Wanderers have won 2 1 against Welling. Mark, you must be pleased with the three points this afternoon. That was a real battle, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, real battle, stop start game. Um, incredibly stop start, actually. I thought that was the feature behind the game. Um, obviously, the, um, the collision, I think that's a goal. I think that, um, I think um, Alfie's uh, got a split up here and a split okay. down there. Looks like a collision. Ref referee didn't blow for it until it was in the net and yeah. then blew. So he didn't think yeah. it was a foul straight away. Um, but then, of course, convinced me he thought it was, even though mm. he didn't. He didn't. Mm. So um, I thought, um, I actually thought it was really good value for that sort of 2 0 at that point yeah. early on. Yeah. Um, very disappointed the goal got chalked off. Obviously, I hope the keeper's okay. Alfie's going to have to have, you know, two sets of stitches. Okay. Um, and I thought Alfie going off actually, you know, made a, made a little bit of a difference in yeah. the game. But I thought the boys are brilliant because the game got broken up galore. Uh, we was really resilient. Um, yeah, look, we, we've seen, bottom line is teams are just like back five, <coughs> midfield five. Yeah, they had a back five, didn't they? Well, yeah, they? back five, yeah. midfield yeah. five. And, yeah. and every team's doing it, yeah. going, well, break us down. And it's not easy. Mate. It's not easy to break teams down when they're in back fives and midfield fives. You know, yeah, yeah. the nine drops in and, and look, listen, Rod, Rod's a good manager and his, his plan was to try and, you know, uh, recover the ball back and then turn it on us. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, the big sour point is, is Harrison in goal, which is not good enough. Like, you know, that was such a poor error for their goal. To, he's had next to nothing to do. He's like, pretty much fallen asleep. Um, and not come off his line yeah. and his teammates who have done 140k fucking between them uh, you know and, and he hasn't come off his line just to get a simple claim yeah. and it put us under pressure yeah. um, for 10 minutes so that's all I'm remembering from that game but I'll say one thing the first half was massively broken up 11 minutes added time mm -hmm. this is our goal all of these things unsettle you but I thought second half up until we scored was really good I thought we, uh, we kept the ball we didn't mm -hmm. force it and then we got a, our first glimpse of what Theo's yeah. known for, which yeah. is scoring goals. Yeah. I thought he was, his overall play was poor. And I think, you know, I think he's got a lot to learn about how we play. Mm -hmm. And I've told him that as much as I've told Harrison folks um, that he's going to have to improve upon making big mistakes of like that. Mm -hmm. We conceded the one, I think, last week when Jordan goes to head it back. Yeah. Harrison gives away a penalty. It, for me, he's been flat-footed too many times. I know people go, oh, don't mind about your players, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I'm, I'm the first to say well done when they've done well. Mm -hmm. And he, he's got to be he, he's got to be our vocal, mm -hmm. lively mm -hmm. keeper. He doesn't have a lot to do playing for us. Yeah. Liven up. <laughs> no, liven yeah. up. I said, yeah. do you know what I mean? He needs to like, they do these things, you rub into feet now, don't they? That's a modern, modern now. Yeah. You get different things. I said maybe he needs like LSD that he rubs in his feet <laughs> and um, something to liven him up. Yeah. If that's still about LSD, get in touch if you know anyone. Um, no, genuinely fucking winds me up anyway look really good performance from the lads I didn't get a chance to tell them how pleased I was because I was too I was shouting too much at, at, at Folksy um, for putting me through another 10 minutes of hell and the supporters but that's how it is here the stakes are high this yeah, team doesn't want to it this, did have that feeling of, oh, of course it did of course, we've had two weeks <laughs> exactly so yeah. listen um, they're all responsible. They all get the praise. They all have to take the hits as well. Yep. But I thought overall, really good performance. Mm -hmm. I thought Jason, Jack Young in particular, yeah, Jason. I was going to mention Jack Young. He had a really good game today, didn't he? And he I thought he was really good Tuesday night as well at Tunbridge. Yeah, I thought, I thought so, Somebody yeah. that's on loan, he was really sort of impressing and, and you know, not going through the motions like a, like loan players may well do at times. That's his natural game. Yeah, he's brilliant. professional, yeah. Really brilliant lad. Top lad. Top, top lad. I thought they all done well. I thought Gallagher, Cray. I thought the, the unsung hero a little bit was Milson. I thought yeah. his covering round was yeah, yeah, defensively was, was really brilliant. Yeah. But um, yeah, look, I thought they all played really well. Them games are difficult when they're stop-start. Yep. And also we lost our striker yeah. in the first 15, 20 minutes yep. and that unsettled us as well. Mm -hmm. So look, we'll take the points. It wasn't, it wasn't kind of like convincing scoreline, but we have to get used to stubborn teams yep. and trying to break them down. And I mean, a bit of quality the, is what we saw. the lad that ended up going in goal was yeah. just as stubborn as the rest of his team, wasn't he? Well, he's like being in a stall when he's saving with, with his feet. <laughs> I know, we had a laugh about it, me and the goal. Brilliant. Yeah, fair play to him going in. But listen, yeah. they, they had banks of fire. They defended the, they, they frustrated us. And, you know, um, obviously, I, I don't know what I'd have done if, if they had nicked an equaliser. 
Uh, that, that I, I, in my head, I was all sorts of things were going to happen to folks. Um, but um, yeah, look, we're still rebuilding. Yep. We really hope Charlie's back next week. Okay. Um, and um, we hope Alfie makes it as well. A couple of games now in three, four days. Mm -hmm. We've got a week to enjoy the three points. Yeah. Um, and we will. We've just got to be really... I'm hoping we become really... Uh, the kind of familiar territory is low blocks and teams that work really hard. And yeah. we've just got to... I'm hoping we become accustomed to that yeah. so we can, you know, start working out these little nuances to break them down. Yeah, I think... In a way, we've almost needed a result like that, haven't we, in a bit where we've had to show that resilience and, and, and that sort of determination. Um, fans today, I think the £5 pints went down well. It's, oh, I just love our fans and the Welling fans as well. Yeah. Fair play to the Welling fans. Yeah. Like they, they, yeah. You know, you need teams that, that travel like that yeah, yeah. to help Absolutely. each other out. When we yeah. go to Welling, remember that. Yeah. Go there, put people, money in their till. Yeah. Our fans are amazing, incredible. The minute we, we turn up, the boys understand. Look, listen, we're missing our... We're missing our whole midfield. Mm -hmm. um, we're missing some great, great players. Um, and we've got enough. We've got enough to keep winning games. Um, we really have. Um, so, yeah, but the fans are massive to us. And I hope, I think it's Farnborough next week. Yeah, well, yeah. Spencer's, yeah. Um, Spencer's long ball Farnborough. <laughs> Spencer's probably my favourite manager in <laughs> British football. Um, we've been doing it almost the identical time. And I've got a lot of respect for him. And we're having a great start to the season. Mm -hmm. Um, but the mighty wanderers are in town next week. Let's see how good it is then. <laughs> so we've got a week now. So hopefully, maybe some of those players will be available next week. Obviously, Charlie, difficult circumstances. But yeah. um, training this week and then Farnborough away next week, and not that far either. So yeah, hopefully, exactly. big numbers are travelling down there. Do you know what would be really good? We can try, try and take three, four hundred there. You know, these games like that are as good as a home game. Like yeah. If this was the, the, the league above, we'd all be there. Like yeah. Woken, we yeah, took yeah, 500. Yeah. So. You know, listen, it, obviously it's early season still, mm -hmm. early season, Twenty, we need 25 games. I think end of November, you know, we'll start seeing some kind of development in the table. I think we've got seven league games yeah, in November. Month, yeah. yeah, but we've got uh, Farnborough Maystone, we won't look any further. Need to try and get some boys back on the pitch. Mm -hmm. But the boys done really well today. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with them. Excellent. Well, take away tonight. Yeah, 100% uh, super dish. Marino, if that's not completely shut, super dish. <laughs> Went into administration, 1941. <laughs> yeah, 100%, mate. Going to go home, watch a game and chill out because my heart can't take it when we make little mistakes. Excellent. Well, it was three points today, um, thankfully. And um, have a good week, Mark, and we'll see you at Farnborough next Saturday. Yeah, cheers, James. Thank Thanks, you. mate.